your inspirational craft channel. I want to apologize in advance for my voice. I'm dealing with allergies. It is allergy season here in Georgia. Um, and after being in upstate New York for over 30 years, my body is refusing to um, quickly adjust to its surroundings. So before I wait for all the symptoms to subside, before I get on with my crafting life, um, i.e. this haul, I just went on ahead and decided to do it. And I'm sure you would appreciate the info. Um, otherwise, I'd forget. By the time I'm good and well, I'll probably be working on several projects and will forget. So without further ado, um, I have some items from Hobby Lobby that I wanted to show you guys. And um, hopefully you can get out to the stores and take advantage of some of the sales as well. Um, oh, but before we get started, um, I want to invite you all to um, the Maker Exchange on Facebook. It's a, cra it's a Facebook group crafting community of all different ages, all different skill levels, and all different craft mediums from sewing to um, paper crafting, um, uh, glue gunning, upcycling, knitting, crocheting, ribbon making, um, and, and all different types, um, woodworking, and actual artistic painting. Um, there is all different types of uh, mediums that show up and are involved and inspire us and motivate us and and encourage us. It is definitely a group of encouraging, encouraging people. So I invite you to stop by. We'd love to have you. Um, we do also um, sponsor some giveaways and swaps. So it makes for a um, an interesting group. And, and we have a great time in there. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer at six minutes so that I'm not taking up your day with my haul. <clears throat> First up is this paper pad. If you hold for just a second, I just need to sip my coffee. Throat is dry. Um, by the paper studio. I thought that this was $16.99, but it was actually 40% off this, so... A good deal great great vivid um, holiday paper in here now the first you'll see is black and white which depending on how you use it it is it is holiday paper Miriam bright nice uh, muted tones for here um, it's not red red but it is definitely a you know it's still festive not sure if these if this is a evergreen but nevertheless pine cone um, I like the mossy green color of that. Um, it does stand out. So, um, pretty sure I can make some cute cards with that. You've got plaids. Um, I love the little evergreen trees with the black and white polka dot background. Then you've got the red and black plaid. And this is going to be really useful. Um, you've got, I think it's three sheets of these little cards that you can cut up and um, use however you see fit, whether it's on note cards, greeting cards, um, wall art, whatever. The sky's the limit. So, yeah. Maids and milking. So 12 days of Christmas, actually. And this is really cute. It looks like, it looks like a craft color with white stripes. So you can definitely do something vintagey um, or country, a country themed um, paper craft with that. Then you've got bright red and white and green ribbon against the black background. So it's a great contrast. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you've got Santa and the reindeer. Very merry. Noel, isn't that cute? How adorable is the ice skater? And again, the colors. I love the colors. Black and white plaid or check. Not sure what the difference is between plaid and check. And this is actually my all-time favorite. I've already actually used a couple sheets out of this paper pad. Um, the vintage car with the tree on the top and the polka dot 
background of this paper. The background isn't white, it's more like an antique white or vintage white. So that's really cute. And then you have this, it looks like, you know, the sweater theme. And this, I love the vibrancy of this paper. Now, as you can see, it's not double-sided paper, but it definitely is a cardstock, so uh, you don't have to worry about having to double up um, for the sake of sturdiness. Now, I got that one at 40% off, but I got this one on clearance. This is a paper pack. I haven't used it yet, but I did open it. This is three. I paid three dollars for this one. Originally ten dollars, and this is the fancy pants. Um, you can see all of the different. I apologize for the glare, but you can see all of the different um, patterns that are in here. Black and white, and, and it's double-sided paper cardstock. What also came in the pack, which I took out. For, so that I can show you easier is the puffy stickers you've got laugh love smile feathers so it's kind of boho but a vibrant modern boho um, and stars and hearts little words happy hello um, dream catchers and this is yep this is by fancy pants the other one was by paper studio and then it has the black and white striped letters and then punctuation marks so i thought that that was a good um deal three dollars for that that was worth actually worth ten dollars especially with the variety and then i had um some cello bags these were only 199 i've used them already um i've already started some crafts for an upcoming craft fair this weekend so i went on ahead and opened that up 48 in there 199 washi tape now this is like a light teal like Tiffany blue if you will um, with you know uh, roses and then this one is red uh, a vintage red with white doilies on it I thought that was so cute <coughs> excuse me and then I got the five pack of the thin washi tape, rose gold, um, has different prints, uh, polka dot, chevron, stripe, and I'm not quite sure what this pattern is called, but, and, um, then you have that one as well. I thought that was pretty. And then I also got a, a copper colored one, um marble and then the geometric so that's a little bit more modern i like that six minutes i got a couple more things to show you so we, sh we should be all set but these were on sale for 50 percent off both of them so i paid 250 for this and 250 for that i got grads for some journals that i'm putting together um some altered journals um this comes with there's 50 of them in here but it has um, like a pewter tone, silver tone, gold, um, and a rose gold in here. So they were on sale as well by the paper studio. And then I got a couple of stamp stamp sets. This one is Bow Bunny, and because I do a lot of um, keepsake and memorial crafts, and and I sell a lot of those products, I thought that this was a good stamp set to have pray continually amen light bulb batch of crosses miracles hope faith believe arrows hearts and stars and then of course the, our symbol here uh -huh. these are on sale um for 50 40 percent off 40 or 50 percent off originally six dollars and then you have um stamp abilities coffee stamp set. Got the Starbucks one, but first coffee. Thanks a latte. Coffee over everything. And you got some coffee beans, a cup, and then, or a spoon, and then the coffee cup with the steam coming out of it. I thought that was adorable. Isn't it? And, um, 
Then I also got, actually, no, I've already, like I said, I've already started doing some projects. So there were, just from the um, crafting section, I picked up some stickers and I used these on some um, little gift items that I made for the upcoming craft fair. So I think it came with, <coughs> excuse me, 18 of them in there, chipboard stickers, but I used, um, as you can see, pop-up tape to pop them up off of the gift, uh, make it more dimensional, give it more dimension. Then I got, um, these pocket cards. Now this is the, these were on sale for $2.49. No, they were clearance at $2.49. And if you can see the images that are on here, that's, each card is two-sided. And they can be used on um, your altar journals, um, slip inside some gifts, um, your planners, and you know, if you use pocket cards, you know what these are for. But they're great, a great way to embellish your products. Now these, I also got um, the Christmas version. Isn't that cute? And these have more of a vintage feel. Um, it's not quite craft, craft color, but um, more like a vintage, an aged color, if you will. So it came with a quite, uh, there's 36 double-sided cards in each, so that's 72 designs. And for two fifty, that was a great buy. Um, and so, I am just a quick project share, putting together a few altered journals. Here's one of them, and this is one of the pocket cards that came out of that set. I just took some. Um, this isn't even cardstock. This is just scrap of paper. And use some of the washi. And then I'll probably add some either some other type of embellishments to the top. And then I also have to add the dividers. The dividers in and um, the brads in the, the, the tie closure. So this will end up being quite the cute little altered notebooks. But I still have a few other things to do with that. And I've got one drying as we speak and with different pattern paper on it so i just want to thank you for hanging out with me on this haul and for bearing with me with this allergies i encourage you to stop by my facebook group check me out on instagram the maker exchange or and the southern yankee actually southern yankee queen as well as at livieslovelies.com but you'll see all of that below and if you have any items if you see any items in this that you think I could make something different with or you already have and you're making something with drop a comment drop you know let me know below in the comments and um, I look forward to hearing back from you all don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share my community on YouTube is so small, but I am looking forward to growing with you as the community grows. So, um, thank you and God bless. Take care. Be